First, I would like to thank also the panel for sharing with us uh, their insights. We come to an end uh, of a most uh, lively, interactive meeting. And I would like first to thank the, His Majesty, Her Majesty, the government of Jordan, the people of Jordan, the security forces for the great hospitality which we have all perceived here in this country. Please join me in expressing our gratitude. I would also like to thank um, the person who was really responsible for this meeting, Mirek Tusek, uh, to join us for a moment here at this podium to share his conclusions of the meeting. Thank you, Professor Schwab. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, after uh, three days of intensive private and public meetings, sessions and workshops, we reassemble here in this plenary hall to ask two main questions. What have we learned during these past couple of days? And more importantly, uh, what are the key ideas and insights that we will take forward? We met here against the backdrop of a number of deep political, economic and societal transformations, which this region has witnessed over the past four years. In the midst of all these fundamental shifts, the different peoples of the Middle East and North Africa continue to look for answers to the challenges in front of them, especially the continuous demands of young women and men for dignity and economic inclusion. We convene here under the theme, creating a regional framework for prosperity and peace through public-private cooperation. We did so because collaboration between the different stakeholders of society is absolutely imperative if we want to build effective responses to the many challenges facing this region, particularly to the threats arising from radicalization and violent extremism. It is a message that has been continuously emphasized by Professor Schwab and which underlines the efforts of the World Economic Forum since its foundation in 1971. Adequately understanding and dealing with these issues was one of the key components of this meeting. We did so not only through a special program on addressing violent extremism, but also by tackling the manifold issues that are the causes, the amplifiers and symptoms of violent extremism, such as the political and socioeconomic conditions of Arab citizens, the role of social media, and the tragedy suffered by millions of refugees and internally displaced people. We're proud to see today such a solid commitment from you, leaders of civil society organizations, the business community, government, academia, and the media to stem the tide of radicalization in this region and globally. There are other signs for optimism too, as the many initiatives and commitments taken during these three days have shown. First, the Forum's Regional Business Council, our community of the most eminent business leaders in the Arab world, has pledged to further drive the new vision for Arab Employment Initiative of the World Economic Forum, committing itself to create 100,000 jobs by 2017. In this respect, already here, nine of our strategic and regional partners have pledged to introduce incremental corporate initiatives for skills development, fostering entrepreneurship, and connecting talent to markets to meet nearly 50% of the target already here. Also, business leaders from Israel and Palestine have met here and committed themselves to continue their efforts toward a two-state solution by proposing civic society-led initiatives to the conflict despite the current diplomatic impasse. We believe this is an absolutely key issue for all of us. No one can afford to stay on the margins. No one can afford to be a distant observer. Besides these milestones, we also touched on the imperative of infrastructure financing and development as a vital priority for this region in order to forge the regional economic cohesion that is needed to create jobs for the young people. On Syria, Iraq, Libya, and Yemen, leaders who were present here at the Dead Sea confirmed their commitment and responsibility to address the precarious situation there, both in terms of the national security of these countries 
as well as the human security of its citizens. Last but not least, we came to the shared conclusion here that despite all the massive challenges faced by this region, there is also a great momentum for economic, political, and social reform in many countries, including in Jordan. In this context, we are particularly proud that His Majesty King Abdullah II has taken the opportunity this summit to announce major new projects which provide very tangible and actionable avenues to further growth and development for the Jordanian people and only underscore the special position of Jordan in this region and in the international community. Ladies and gentlemen, over the coming years, we are, the World Economic Forum will continue to work steadfastly in order to drive these initiatives and projects forward, and we look forward to the involvement of all of you. Thank you very much for all your engagement. Thank you, Professor Schwab. Thank you very much, um, Merek Tusek. I have the last duty, again, to thank you. Thank you, Prime Minister. Thank you, participants. I look forward to see you all in May 2016 in Sharm al Sheikh. The session and the very successful and, as we have heard, very impactful meeting 2015 is concluded. So thank you very much for your participation. And I have one personal remark at the very end. There was the call for role models and for heroes. Of course, not everybody of us can be a hero. But what we all can do is to improve governance. I think if we look at the root causes, one of the key root causes is the lack of confidence in the political community, but also in the business communities. Why is such a lack? Because we do not always practice the best governance responsibilities. So go away. And when we meet again in a year, let's see how in your own daily life you have taken up the ideas which were presented here and how everybody of you can say, I applied in my organization, government or business, the best governance rules. I think then we will make real progress. Thank you.